welcome back to Dr. Rose Solutions. In this video, we'll give you update what's available for uh, oxygen source for ozone uh, therapy or oxygen source for your medical uh, ozone uh, treatments. In the previous videos, we already covered how to set up tanks and the difference between the tanks and how to choose the tanks. So this video will give you two new updates. Uh, let me just repeat what has been covered already. So, we developed uh, a regulator for disposable oxygen tank that is available in any hardware store. Uh, this oxygen tank contains 1.1 cubic feet of oxygen, which is plenty of oxygens for your rectal insufflations or even ear insufflations and quite a few water ozonations. So, it's very affordable, uh, very affordable solution. You buy only uh, regulator once and then you keep replacing the tank. Tank costs about $10 in any hardware store. Uh, so other uh, choice for you how to choose oxygen is a medical tank or industrial tank. Uh, now, the medical tank, in order to get it in the United States, you need to have a medical prescription. That's unfortunate. But there is a way around it. So, because oxygen is the same, and it's, we measured in those video, in the first video, when we measured, actually took the measure and, and show you how much oxygen in both things. So, it's about 95 to 96 percent. So, you can get that in welding supply or gas supply. Uh, the problem with this, it's extremely heavy, number one. Second, because the oxygen is oxi uh, oxygen has the ability to oxidize the metals, so these things um, keeps uh, the rust inside. In other words, the the oxygen will ox oxidize the tank, and you're going to have a rust accumulated. That's why we uh, present you and always recommend to use oxygen filter. So then, here is another solution we'd like to present you. Uh, this is a medical tank and this is an industrial tank. So you cannot get the medical tank prescription, but however, many tanks available in the aftermarket. As, uh, you can go to the garage sale, you can go, go wherever in the flea market, and there are quite a few tanks floating around. There are quite a few of them. So that's why uh, what we would like to present you, that's the that's industrial tank for medical tank. Uh, so what it converts your medical tank that you buy off, off the market and in, in, you put industrial valve on a medical tank and the medical tank becomes industrial tank. So you will have a pure oxygen inside, you're not going to have a rust and this is quite light. Obviously there could be many different tanks but we prefer uh, to, to use the, the small ones because they light. So let me put this away for now. And how you do that? Uh, this is available from our website. So, in order to replace it, you need to take that valve off. I already did it before. That's why you will probably need large uh, the wrench in order to just untape it. Uh, you can do it yourself. It just comes right off after you break that that tightness. And this valve, it comes with a gasket, Teflon gasket, and this come put right on your medical tank. So the medical things become industrial tank. So you're not going to have a hard time replacing this. Uh, so you can do that yourself, or you can take this to your local uh, gas supplier, uh, air gas, or whatever it is, and ask them to replace it and they will let it do that for you. May, might be even do it for free or maybe charge you very nominal fees. Uh, so I think this is very good. And uh, you, the same industrial regulator will, will be attached to it, but it's very light, it's very portable, and it has a clean uh, oxygen inside. Even though we still recommend using uh, oxygen filter for it because it does accumulate minor amount of uh, aluminum oxide. So this is one solution we would like to present you. So let me put this away now. And I would like to present you the second solution for your oxygen. 
So we have uh, now available from a website is oxygen concentrator. And many of you asked us before and called and said, uh, how, Dr. O, how do we use oxygen concentrator? In order to use oxygen concentrator, unfortunately, uh, you will need a conversion. You need a converter that converts high feed, high flow to low flow. And on the other uh, oxygen concentrators, and again, there are many, many, many oxygen concentrators available, even in the aftermarket. They're quite expensive. They, they start from 1,000, goes up to 2,500, up to 5,000, depends on the, on the brand, it depends on the oxygen flow. And there is another problem uh, with it when you feed it through the uh, device that reduces the flow. The oxygen concentrator is designed to, for a major um, goal of that, to supply the breathing um, uh, as a breathing oxygen for the uh, patient's personal treatments. That's why uh, there is a high flow. They usually some on three liters per minute, some on five, some on ten liters per minute. But when you reduce it, uh, the the flow. There is alarm built in, and it gives you alarm, and that's for the for the reason that the oxygen stopped flowing, and there's alarm, and the per person when he asleep, or he needs to know it. So we cannot suppress the flow uh, uh, down to one eight, for instance, one tenth liter per minute, and have oxygen flowing from oxygen concentrator. After it starts beeping and gives alarm feed shuts off. That's why <clears throat> there is a special solution uh, we develop that how to get by with those oxygen concentrators like Invacare and some other ones. But for now I'll let me just uh, just cover what we have. Okay, And the oxygen concentrator that we have on our website it's portable, it's light, uh, so I can lift up in one hand. It's very quiet. Let me just put it on. You barely can hear it's running. And now it steps two liter per minute. Uh, you can change the feed electronically. Okay. On the oxygen concentrators that uh, you will find on the website, you can reduce the feed. It's electronically adjusted. It's not uh, through the manual well up to half a liter per minute. So, but half a liter per minute is still um, a lot of feed for our ozone generator. The second, what this is oxygen concentrated uh, alarm is optional. In other words, if I shut it down completely, for instance, now it's flowing. As you can see, it doesn't go to alarm mode. It builds the pressure, and that's it. So this is why this is very um, useful uh, for our purposes. So we can suppress the feed and feed uh, feed oxygen to uh, ozone, and we're not going to have alarm. Now, if you do have Invocare or a large oxygen concentrator, that is fine. So what we would do is this, we, um, we attach oxygen source to incoming port. As you can see now it's 2 liters per minute and goes feeds directly through it. And in this case I'll attach uh, output outlet to our ozone generator. That's how we're going to have it. Uh, and it goes right through, even I suppress it completely. Now to one tenth. So normally other Invacare oxygen sources will start go to alarm mode. This one doesn't. If you do have Invacare or other ones, so you still buy this uh, uh, flow reducer. The flow reducer comes with a three-way valve. So when oxygen flows in, as you can see, there is no pressure right now. But if I block the top, as 
as you can see, it starts flowing. So what we would do, this unit comes with a small, tiny lure reducer. You put just reducer on it. And we adjust the flow. Okay. So we will set to two to three liters for mi per minute. Not in this, but in the care, because this one doesn't need it. And some oxygen flows through output, but some oxygen flows, as you can see, through the top. And this is perfectly fine. So that would not give your false alarm to your oxygen uh, concentrator. Okay, let me reduce the feed because it just blows too much. That's Francis. So in our case, when there is no alarm, I'll put the regular cap on it. That cap this has no outlet. And just reduce the flow the way I want it to reduce. Now, this, this device uh, graduated a little bit differently than we have ozone chart on the top. That's why this device will come with a new chart. Uh, so it, uh, it starts from uh, uh, one tenth liter per minute. So it will be then uh, point to uh, zero point, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, half a liter. And a half a liter you already do not need uh, this device because it will, this oxygen concentrator can set for half a liter per minute. You will just simply bypass and, and, and go right through. If you do have other ones like Invacare, the large ones, then you can reg regulate again with the bypass up to half a liter to, to one liter and this will be very uh, useful. Uh, so, but uh, otherwise operation is the same. You, we just set it now with 110. It's 110 will be below, uh, will be about 45 gammas. And we start ozone generator. As you can see, it's building up the pressure, reducing it now. I have nice fresh smell of ozone. So that's a very short presentation, but I think it's very useful and very, very uh, helpful for you. So uh, instead of just going and sourcing around your oxygen in the tank and try to get it, and I know many of you call us and complain, it's, 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 yes, it's very hard, very hard to do, very hard to find. Then you have to, then your guest supplier gives you, uh, gives you, gives you a headache and um, this will allow you to to have um, at home operation as you can see now it's running but it's, it's very very quiet you have a limited source especially if you do the breathing if you do even oil on the water ozonations yes you can do with this device this is only 150 watts so it's very limited uh, power draw from a line so it's not that much money and that can be reduced, but if you do ozone breathing, again, you set up for half a liter to a liter and feed directly to your breathing kit. That's what we have other video, they see that. And you just sit in and relax. We can do oxygen therapy, but oxygen therapy, or therapy will be next a video where we'll explain you what is oxygen therapy is and how it can be beneficial for you besides ozone therapy. So I think that that's all folks for this video and um, please uh, share, join us, give us a thumbs up and um, click on the bell if you want to have updates from our channel. We have a Facebook page and we have, don't forget, Medical Ozone Research Group on uh, Facebook. That's a group you have to ask to join it. Currently there are many uh, members on it. Uh, people asking questions, share experience with ozone. We have a practitioners there, so you can ask uh, who's close by with the ozone practitioners nearby, then ask them the question, ask, ask the question. So that's all, folks. See you in the next video.